G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This is a quick video that looks how to work out the area of a rectangle, that is the space taken up by a rectangle. So probably I guess the first important thing to think about whenever you're looking at area is that you recognize that you're dealing with a two-dimensional shape. A two-dimensional shape is a flat shape that has two dimensions. A rectangle has the dimension of length and it has the dimension of width. So when we're looking at describing the area of this two-dimensional shape, we need to use special two-dimensional units, okay? Uh, square units, such as we have here, uh, say in the forms of, say, metre squared. Uh, so this could be one metre squared, which is literally going to be one metre by one metre. It's a two-dimensional unit that we can use to describe the space taken up by a two-dimensional shape. We could also have centimetre squared, which would be one centimetre by one centimetre or inch squared, which would be one inch by one inch. I think you get the idea on that. So how do you go about working out the area of a rectangle? Well, the formula is pretty simple for this. The area of a rectangle is equal to the length multiplied by the width. The length times the width, okay? So pretty simple. So pretty simple, let's put a couple of dimensions in here. So here we have three meters, okay? One, two, three meters. And along our length here, we have four meters. So the area is equal to the length times the width. The area is equal to the length, which is four meters, multiplied by the width, which is three meters. Four meters times three meters is equal to 12 meters squared, okay? Meters times meters gives us meters squared. Same way here, meters times meters gives us meters squared. And we can see that this is the case. Uh, you can see how many one meter squared occur in our rectangle here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's a pretty simple uh, little thing to do, right? Just one thing to watch out for, and I'll show you in this example right now. Okay, in this example here, we are going to work out the area of a rectangle that has a length of 3,000 millimetres and a width of 2.5 metres. But you might notice a problem straight away. We're going to be trying to work this out in metres squared, but we have this problem. We have a unit here that's in metres, but our unit here is in millimetres. So it's an important thing that when you're working out area that you're dealing with the same units. And in this case, because we want things in metres, we're going to start with our units both being in meters. So this one here is already in meters, but our 3000 millimeters needs to be changed across two meters. Now, you may or may not know this, but there is 1000 millimeters in one meter. So how many meters in 3000 millimeters? This is equal to three meters. We divide by a thousand and get three meters. So now we can work out this area. The area is equal to the length times the width. The length is three meters. The width is 2.5 metres. So 3 times 2.5, we have an area which is equal to 7.5 metres squared. Okay, here's the final example. You give it a go. What you're going to see is we have a rectangle which has a length of 4 centimetres and a width of 35 millimetres. So we're going to work out the area. So first off, what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to change these millimetres here in two centimeters. There is 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So this is 3.5 centimeters. Now we can go through and work out the area. The area is equal to the length, that is four centimeters, multiplied by the width, that is 3.5 centimeters. Four centimeters times 3.5 centimeters is equal to 14 centimeters squared. Anyway, that's my quick video looking at how to work out the area of a rectangle. It's pretty simple, but it's a pretty simple thing to do. Anyway, tell us what you thought of this video. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.